Hey guys, it's me again, and uh, I'm making another video already. Um, it's kind of addicting, I guess. But uh, I'm making another video to kind of uh, give you a little backstory on how I got into cross stitching. Um, uh, it all started when uh, with my mom. Uh, she's actually a big crafter, and uh, when I was younger, uh, I, I started doing it, and I was like, man, that's pretty cool, because you know, it started from like some, pretty much from nothing. I mean, all these little tiny X's, and you know, you see the progress, and you know, it's like all of a sudden, you know, a few weeks later, a few months later, you know, this, you get this amazing picture. So I was like, mom, mom, I want to learn how to do that, and she taught me, and uh, I learned. It's fairly easy. I mean, I was pretty young. I don't remember exactly how young, but uh, um, yeah, and it was it progress from there. Um, I did several small projects. Of course, you start small, you work your way up to you know uh, middle-sized projects and larger projects. Um, I didn't do too many projects. Um, as some of you may know, uh, probably all of you, uh, the cross-stitching world is mostly uh, women. Um, it's more of a women's hobby. But uh, that's all right. There are uh, a few guys out there who do it, and there are a few in my uh, cross stitching group on Facebook. I, there are a couple, a couple of us out there. Um, I didn't really do too many projects because um, there wasn't a whole lot of patterns that I was interested in. Um, especially like before pattern makers came out uh, back in the day, there wasn't a whole lot of you know cool male patterns out there. Um, uh, there were a couple companies out there that made some kind of cool fantasy stuff, uh, dimensions, they made, you know, like some cool dragons and wizard type styles. But um, yeah, back in a few years, uh, five, ten years ago, there wasn't a whole lot of, you know, cool male stuff out there. Um, so uh, I didn't really do a whole lot of cross section back then uh, because of that. You know, I was like, man, I don't want to cross stitch, you know, flowers and, you know, butterflies and all that, you know girly stuff so um, uh, I guess I kind of really got back into cross stitching um, back in I think around 2009-2010 um, I had just moved to Korea and I was like man I'm gonna need something to do you know because my stuff's gonna take a while to get there so I'm like man let me go pick up this up uh, me uh, pick up this cross stitch you know I haven't done a cross stitch in a while let me pick up this cross stitch and that'll definitely keep me busy and I did um, and it was a uh, dimensions pattern called Aurora Cabin and uh, I will be showing that to you uh, uh, later on in this video but um, that's what really kind of got me back into it. Um, I worked on it for a good part of the year I was over there and uh, it turned out really good. It's actually the only piece I've gotten framed <laughs> so far. I keep telling myself I'm gonna frame all these projects that I finished but you know other uh, you see behind me the walls are bare still but um, yeah I keep telling myself, you know, get them framed, get them framed, but anyways, uh, yeah, so um, after Korea, uh, I came back to the States, so internet's fast again, malls, you can go out and, out and you know, do whatever you want to, so I kind of got back into the gaming thing, I'm still a gamer now, but, you know, um, let's see, after that, I didn't really do a whole lot, um, until, i say, maybe about a year, uh, 2011 2012 I was over in Kuwait for nine months and that's when I really uh, really uh, stitched I mean I was that's pretty much over there it's like desert and desert so there's not like oh a mall five down five minutes down the street no there is not so you've got to find something to do to uh, occupy your time and what I did was I stitched and um, I'm not sure how I found uh, this site. Maybe I was googling it because I wanted to find, you know, I wanted to find some some cool patterns for like, you know, for like you know, that weren't so like girly or whatever. And uh, I came across this site. I don't know. I think it was on eBay or whatever. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But um, there's this lady that makes these awesome, awesome cross stitches. Um, and I ordered like four patterns from her, like just to take over there and to work on. And um, I'll have to talk to her and uh, uh, see if I can get her, uh, if she will allow me to put her links to her uh, to her shop or to her products uh, on this video and uh, see if I can make that happen. But yeah, um, I worked on 
uh, Star Wars pattern, Darth Maul pattern. I worked on a uh, Twilight pattern, uh, Alice. Um, I worked on a couple of video game patterns, uh, Cloud from Final Fantasy VII, Ares from Final Fantasy VII, um, a Game of Thrones pattern. Uh, Daenerys from Game of Thrones. I worked on her, and I worked on like I finished like five or six projects on there. It was pretty cool. Um, I got a lot of stitching in, a lot of a lot of downtime over there, and not a whole lot of places you can go. So you were pretty much in your tent, either for me I was either cross stitching or playing games with the guys. So um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, my entire experience with the uh, with cross stitching. Um, now let me. I actually want to show you some of the finished products I have, or some of the, uh, yeah, some of the products that I finished, and uh, I'll let you guys take a look. Okay, so don't make fun of me, but uh, this is kind of where I keep my. Oh, there's Totoro right there. Hello, Totoro. This is where I keep my uh, finished patterns in my little uh, shoe compartment uh, area. It is kind of ghetto, I know, but hey. You work with what you got, right? So, um, this is how I normally store my uh, fabric in these little handy dandy uh, cases. They actually come like this in the stores for us in the US here. Uh, Michael's or Joanne's, that's where I usually go to get my supplies and thread. So, these handy dandy plastic cases. Uh, let's grab the rest of these over here. More, more, yes, yes. And if you want to get really uh, ghetto with it, <laughs> plastic baggies. They work just as well. So if you don't have the cool little plastic cases that come in, Ziploc baggies. They work uh, really well. Keep them, you know, kind of clean and dry and dust free. All right, let's get some of these. Uh, let's get some of these open here. All right, this first one that I'm showing you is Alice from the uh, Twilight series. Uh, she is probably my favorite uh, character from that uh, book series slash movie series. Um, I did really enjoy the books. The movies were pretty good too, in my opinion. Uh, most people, you know, are Twilight haters, but you know, hey, I'm gonna be honest. I like the books. I've read the series several times, and I've I own the movie, so whatever. There's there's Alice. Pretty good. I mean, this is a pattern from uh, from Anna from her uh, from her shop that I ordered. It turned out really, 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 really well. I think. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, for all you uh, gamers out there, this is Ares from Final Fantasy VII. I am a uh, pretty big gamer. I do enjoy the uh, the Xbox and the PS4 and the PC. Uh, this is actually a um, pattern I discovered from a friend on Deviant Art. Um, she's made um, a lot of Final Fantasy. Uh, Patterns, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII, um, some animes from, from Fairy Tale. Um, so, yeah, I found her on DeviantArt. And uh, that's, this is one of her patterns. Turned out really well, I think. All right, let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, um, this is one of my favorite ones that I've done. This is Daenerys. Targaryen from Game of Thrones. This is another one of Anna's patterns that I purchased from her store. I really, really love this pattern, how it turned out. It looks amazing, I think.
really cool. I am a huge Star Wars fan. Huge Star Wars fan. Uh, for those of you who aren't, um, this is Darth Maul. Portrait of his face. Uh, another pattern by Anna. I'm really gonna have to get in touch with her so I can, so I can get permission to use some of her, to use her links to her store. But this is Darth Maul. I really enjoy this one. A lot of black and red in there. Even a little bit of purple. But look at that. I mean, that is awesome. Love Star Wars. Read the books. Love the movies. Super excited for the new. This is another pattern that I really, really enjoyed making because I am such a fan of the fantasy area. This is Lord of the Rings, uh, Aragorn and Arwen from uh, Return of the King when they were up top there getting married. I really enjoy this pattern. I mean, it's really, I mean, it's really detailed. I mean, the hands, the little, the little crown, you can see just a little the little details I mean the ring and her ear it's just turned out amazing also know another one of Anna's Uh, let's see, this one is a, a work in progress, a whip. Uh, if you don't recognize the kind of style there, it is a Precious Moments pattern. On the subject of whips, I only have this one and one other one besides the Middle Earth. I don't like to uh, start too many projects. I like to finish one and start the other. I don't, I don't know. A lot of people that I know, a lot of ladies I know have a huge whip uh, pile. But I do not like to start too many projects. I like to work on one and finish it and then start on the next one. But yeah, this is a start I did. Looks pretty good. Precious Moments whip there. Another uh, goodie for all you gamers out there. you am pretty sure you recognize this guy. This is Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII. This is another one of, uh, this is another pattern from the nice lady from DeviantArt. She actually has done the entire Final Fantasy VII crew and I plan on doing all of them. But yeah, this is Cloud. is the only pattern that I have finished that has been framed. Uh, this is um, a pattern by Dimensions called Aurora Cabin. Uh, this is uh, what I worked on when I was in Korea.
in the top left corner on bigger projects. For something smaller, like uh, some of Adrian's pa Anna's patterns, I always like to start in the middle. But on bigger projects, top left. That's how I like to do it. All right, the next thing that I wanted to talk about kind of is uh, my little stitching area, what I like to uh, use to kind of get comfortable. Um, I live in a barracks, so very, very... because you're going to be sitting for a few hours or at least I sit for a few hours at a time at least um, just stitching so you definitely want to wear something comfortable um, I don't really have a like love seat or couch I have a bed Um, you also want to have really good lighting and that is a really really big big thing uh, when you're cross stitching. Um, the overhead lights uh, are pretty good but I will show you what I also have. I use Another plastic container there. Back scratcher, essential. I use the I don't actually use that attachment. I am getting old, but I'm not that old yet. It works really well. There's a little box there. And here's the actual piece of equipment. Got a little solid base there. And it's fairly tall. Got the little bendy, bendy thing so you can kind of adjust if you need to. right beside my bed so it's easy access and it's pretty much in the perfect spot you turn it on here now this thing is is super bright if you want a really good I mean this is I mean I haven't tried many other lights but this one works amazingly it is super bright I can actually turn off the overhead lights when my roommates in here and he's trying to sleep if I'm, if I'm stitching later at night I can just turn those off and have that on and still be uh, just fine. So, uh, if you're looking for a a good light, I highly recommend um, this out light right here. And uh, also super super important for when you're stitching, in my opinion. And this little cup here, the amazingness of coffee. I love coffee. Uh, it could be your drink of choice, whether it's coffee or, or tea, but yes, I always have a nice hot cup of coffee right by my side within arm's reach. One other thing that I really like to do while I'm stitching, I cannot stitch in silence. I have to have something on, whether it be music or a TV show. Usually it's a TV show. Uh, I have to have something on. So... Um, I have already gone through like three or four TV shows while working on Middle Earth. Um, right now I'm on Revolution. I don't know if you've heard of it or not. Pretty decent show, it's okay. 
But yeah, that's about it. Um, make sure you have good lighting. Uh, make sure you're comfortable uh, where you're sitting or whatever, clothes, wear something comfortable because you're going to be sitting for, like I said, a few hours, at least for me, a few hours at a time, at least. Um, and uh, coffee. You must have coffee. Super important. Super duper important. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, thanks for uh, watching this video. Um, and I will have another video up uh, probably Sunday. Not this Sunday. Next coming Sunday. Um, to show you uh, some more progress on uh, Middle Earth. I think Sunday's a pretty good day because you know you get most of your oh I get most of my stitching done on the weekends. So I think Sunday afternoon would be a, a pretty good time. So yeah, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, like the video, subscribe, because I will be making uh, many, many more of these and uh, hopefully in the future. So uh, thanks again.